Welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm for episode 13 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Now I'll be the first person to admit when I've made a mistake, and I may well have done. Um, I bought the Brantner, which is 8,000 something litres. I completely forgot about the uh, Juskin three points tipper, and this thing will work under here <clears throat> I have been told the name of the person who gave me that piece of information will appear on the screen now because as I'm doing this I've done my usual and my brain's gone I, I can't for the life remember who it was anyway uh, so what I've done is I've bought this one it's a used one it looks a bit, a bit battered but it will do the job it's just a tipper it doesn't need to be anything anything fancy um, and the Brantner I will keep to one side I may take it back and sell it <coughs> excuse me it wasn't hugely expensive but what I do need to do is just top up the animal feed like I said I do need to look for a smaller tractor but I don't I'm, I don't want to spend money I could get one of the Massey Ferguson's for about, about 20,000 um, from the Massey Ferguson old generation pack from Backseat Modding I've used those quite a lot in different let's plays so I want to use something different it does work, brilliant uh, so I want grass doesn't matter, I think it's like 4,000 litres it doesn't matter if it fills up, there we go um, yeah, so I wanted to try and use something different I don't want to spend over 100,000 and then need to lease harvesters and headers and that kind of stuff for doing the harvest in autumn and doing logging at this time of year just is not productive. It's not going to get me anything. So uh, lower that down and tip. Put it back up. Fantastic. Right. This I'm going to put back into the silo. So I'll leave it sitting in here. I thought I'll just leave it sitting in the tipper, but it will it will disappear gradually. Sure, why did the, the horn then? But anyway, right, so that's going to be far easier to do. I'm right here by the sheep, it's perfect position for it. Uh, just have to find a home for it. I'll do a stick it over here by the wall, I think. Just for the time being. Lower that down. And disconnect. Brilliant. Give them a bit of water, and that's the sheep done. They'll be okay for three days. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I don't think there's any other jobs I can do today that is on summer two at the moment. I was also, somebody mentioned the fact that I've got to be careful, I don't spread myself too thin because I've done quite a few different fields, which means that if they're all ready to harvest at harvest time, I'm going to struggle to get it all done. But to be fair, my harvest season will be three days. Oh, see, of course the water's not set there. That's the feed trough. Too busy talking. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I need to make sure I've, I've got enough time. Three days should be okay to get all the harvest done and in, and then we'll check prices and see about selling, if it's worth selling at that point or not. It may not be. So um, we'll just kind of gauge it from there. I'm just thinking that when I get to summer two, what else can I do? Summer two, there was something I thought of. Oh yeah, hopefully by summer two, the um, chaff will be fermented into silage, so I could maybe empty that bunker silo out, put that into storage. That'll be a job that we'll need to do indefinitely. If I've got any more grass that's grown, I could start making hay bales towards the bale count that I need for Alex. Talking of which, a public apology. <laughs> oh dear, I did that really stupid thing. I assumed Alex was a man. And uh, turns out, nope, Alex is a woman. Uh, my mistake. I did apologise to Alex. Uh, but the other thing I found 
is um, when people are using their names I mean Alex is it could be either I mean that's the thing about it um, but if people are using especially modders when I'm talking about mods I'm never sure whether it's a man or a woman or whether it's a group of people it might just come up something modding that could be one person could be three could be ten I'm never quite sure um, I suppose the backup research really it will add to the time of getting mod guide twos ready and that kind of thing but having to then go and look on the website or, or the Facebook page of the mod uh, mod yeah the modder uh, and find out and get as much detail as I can um, because I don't want to be making these mistakes again and I apologize for getting it wrong I really do <laughs> oh dearie me anyway right that's the sheep fed so I might actually start getting some bales done you know get some hay sorted out and start getting some ready towards this bale count that's probably not a bad idea Let's move this trailer I am back in the Chrome Big M again. I've got the Gregoire Bess on trail lifter and the hay bob on the back for making hay and that will just put it into fairly tight windrows. The field on my left is part of the cow pasture. The only downside is the bigger machinery, I can't get it under here. So I've got all that lovely field that I could be turning into hay, I can't do anything with. Um, which is a bit of a pity, but not to worry. I've got the field up by the pigs, but again, not very big. I did look at field 86, which is just over there, that grass field, 400 and something thousand, 442,000 I think it was, so I've come up with another plan. Now, you've seen me mow, you've seen me do a bit of this before, if this is the first one of these you're watching, um, go back from the start, watch them all, there's loads on there, all sorts of content. Um, I don't want to bore people to death with me just mowing and, and cutting grass and things like that now, I'm hoping this is going to work. Right down the bottom corner of the map, field 79, I think it is. So you've got little grass areas like this, not that particularly big here. But if I get down to field 79, there's a strip of grass that runs down the side of the field, and it looks like a fair enough size that I might be able to get away with it. 75? 79 or something? I'm sure it was 79. I might have meant 75. So that field there, 87, you have to purchase. I'm pretty sure I won't get away with it. Normally it comes up and says, um, you don't own this field. I think Drummard Farm was the only one I ever got away with that with. I was I was doing a service for the farmer. I was keeping his grass cut down. Um, but the field you needed to buy still allowed you to cut, which was a bit of a dodgy. Um, but on here it won't allow me to. Sorry, this drive is taking forever. It just goes to show how far down the forest comes. The top part of it, while well, putting it up by 56A, is all joined all the way down to here, to this forest. And if I can get to it at some point. There's 78. And next to it is 79. And down the side of that, on the very western edge of the map, there's a big grass strip. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to mow and ted that and then I'll bale that for hay bales because I need bales. I know I've got a load of hay in storage and that's fine. That's going to be for the animals when I need it but I do need bales to fulfil the contract I've got from the local council who need bales for the harvest festival for a kid's maze. It's not a huge strip but it's a strip of grass that, that Hopefully I'll be able to use. I'm fingers crossed on this actually, I don't know, but let's open that up. Let's go to that. Open the hay bob a little bit. Turn the hay bob on. Lower it down. Hopefully. Some of it. Nobody owns this field. Right, as long as I don't get too close, so there we go, we are making hay. 
So if I can get too close to this field here, I will get some anyway. At the end of the day, it's some hay bales towards fulfilling my contract. I don't know how much I'll get, but it's grass that I can turn. Now I should technically be cutting this grass. This is where I'm slightly puzzled with seasons, uh, only a little bit. It's only a little bit. Uh, um, that I assumed, because you have to cut the grass and then it needs to be warm enough to turn it, to tether it. I suppose technically I thought you would have to cut it and then it wouldn't let you tether it until it had dried, that kind of thing. Um, so if I just jump out now, get the old uh, wopster out. Let's see what this says about this, shall we? Grass, 33%. 8% moisture. So that's saying grass, not hay. What about this, what about this here? Yeah, same, same for both. So I just assumed on seasons it wouldn't allow you to. Uh, so I'm sure someone will comment and say you shouldn't be doing that or you can't do it or it is allowing me to. I did it already, didn't I, when I was up at the other end in springtime, but yeah, I don't know. The seasons mods like magic. nice and gentle at the end, it'll make it a lot easier for any machinery, oh, I've missed that, ah, oh, not mind, and again, should have done straight strips, never mind, right, I'll continue doing this, like I say, you don't want to see me, you know, I've done this already, I've done it before, go back and check out the videos if you haven't seen it, and then I will come back and we'll get some bailing done on this. I am back down by field 79, yes, 79, and I have bought the Crone Big Pack 12080. Uh, this is a modded baler, and it's a square baler. The reason I bought it, it's only 12 grand. Um, I did do a guide tour on this. I have used it before. I can't remember on what one. It might have been on the golden days of farming. I'm trying to think now. I had a few options available here as to what I could do. My options are these, and I'm going to show you in baling technology. What I could have done was got the Massey Ferguson 5, which is 24,000, hooked it up to the Quadro 5, or V, um, and then it will bale, and then stack the bales into fours. Then I could come round, pick them up, put them on a trailer, which I've done on other Let's Plays before. I used to try and, sh I used to say try, I used to shy away from all bale stacking myself, and I would always go for the Arcusin auto stack because I just found that easier. Um, but what I haven't really used since I did the guide to on is the Bales auto load trailers. So in this let's play, I'm going to use one of those. So I don't need to stack the bales. All I need to do is bale them. So I'm going to use this. That's the plan. There are loads and loads of balers available. And if you're on PC, all sorts of options. But this is cheap. It's effective, does what it needs to, that's what I'm going to use. Now what I've also done, let's open the back up on that. Turn it on. Drop the pickup. Right, what I've also done is along the side here where I started doing all this, I've done a couple of strips, but I have also gone that way down the side, to the left hand side of that field, I'll put an arrow there. And then what I also did when I get to the bottom of the field here, the bottom corner of the map, the southwest corner of the map, which I'm heading to now, I went off in that direction as well, heading east. And any grass area I found along those strips, I also cut the grass and tethered it. So I've given myself as many options, well, as many chances of bales as possible. I haven't done bales on this map yet. That's the first bale on the Valley Old Farm. All the rest was done loose and put into the silo. So that's my first bell towards my obligation to the Town Council towards the Harvest Festival. 
the reason I'm going to use the auto load trailer as well is one I haven't really used it before not kind of properly on a let's play so I want to use it but what I'm going to do with these is it's more about what I'm going to do with them than it is the actual stacking them if you want to see well, watch any of my other let's plays where I've done bailing I have tried to manually stack quite a lot I did it on Drummard, I think it was one of the first that I did it on. When the Quadro Pack V came out, Pack 5, well, I'm never too sure. Um, and the Kotec Forks. That combination meant you could stack four bales, and that, those Kotec Forks would take four bales, which meant stacking a trailer was a breeze after that. So I did that quite a lot, but now the auto load trailer's out, I'm going to give that a go. So that's why. I'm going to stop talking and just get on with doing the bailing. I'm going to be interested to see by the end of it just how many bales I end up with. Whatever I get, it's certainly going to help towards what I need. But these are going to have to be get, got taken off the ground and put into storage as soon as possible. I don't want them degrading, laying out here in the sun and that kind of stuff. Now, have they been left long enough to dry out? Technically, I only cut and tethered it about, what, two hours ago in-game. So realistically, would this have been turned over in the sun so quickly and dried out? No, it wouldn't have done. Um, so I apologise for that. No, that's going to give me a grass bale mixed into the middle, isn't it, now? Yeah, because it was grass that it was on. That's the one thing this will pick up if you're doing hay and there's grass mixed in with it it will pick up the grass which is fine if it's not on grass when it gets to the end of the bale when it gets to 4,000 litres if it's on a bit of grass it will give you a grass bale which I've got there but I can put that in storage as well and that go the animals can have that so there's this bit here so like I say I'm, I'm going right off around the sides here this is all the places I found where one day actual mow would, would work but also where it would allow me to cut the grass I think there's another strip down here somewhere so yeah I shall continue I'm going to carry on baling everything everything I cut anyway and then once that's all done we'll see how many bales I've got then we'll buy I think I want to buy the auto load trailer I think it's only 15,000 to buy it that's going to come in very handy for doing bales at any point after that and then we'll get all those bales back to the farm and decide what we're going to do with them actually right in the way then we'll decide what we're going to do with them after that so turn that round like I say if I pick grass up now it'll pick it up which is fine as long as it's not at the end of the bale I'll turn that off lift the pick up and head back right see you in a bit Okay, baling is done. Everything I did. I've got a little bit left in the baler, which I've parked just there behind the crone big M. Um, bales wise, we have got 38 bales. That's not bad. That is a massive chunk towards my hundred that I need to do. Very, very good. I'm very pleased with that. Um, I have also purchased the Flegel Auto Loads Square Bale trailer that was actually 13,000 to buy 12,000 for the trailer standard but if you want it auto load it's 13 so we're going to head out to the other end of where I finished all the bailing which I didn't show you earlier we'll start collecting there and then head back towards field 79 that's what I'm intending and I'm sure some people will comment on the use of the auto load trailer I've explained why I'm doing it I know it's not particularly realistic it's not but I wanted to use use it I haven't really used it before and realistically most people will use it I want to say most people not everybody I know there are people out there that won't use it of course not they'll want to try and stick to as much realism as possible and with seasons mod on I suppose you would argue well, if you're doing seasons and trying to make it more realistic why would you use an auto load trailer um, I just want to try it out. I really want to see what it's like. 
views it properly in a kind of let's play. What I'm also going to start doing is putting the modders' names up on the screen so that um, baler and the auto load trailer, I'll put their names up in a minute. This is probably not the best angle to be coming at this. So as you can see, I came right the way around, right to the edge here. There's my first of my bales. Right, now, uh, where am I? So I'm right on the eastern edge of the map by field 64. Arrow now. Um, and I came down sort of past 65, 85, right across the southern part of the, the map. And there were only certain sections I could do along there. Then obviously the bit I had already done that I showed you up past 79 up towards field 88 and I stopped when I did the last little clip you just saw I finished bailing just by where the river is there by 88 so that's what I'm now collecting now help menu on in the top right hand top left hand corner sorry um, if I go L1 and square this is operating position what should happen now is, as I drive past them, they should pop onto the trailer. Like so. Brilliant. Now, I'll be honest with you, and this is not just me saying it. I really, really do enjoy stacking bales. I enjoy using the Quadro Pack V. I enjoy using the Kotec Forks. I like the kind of challenge of doing those stacks of four, getting them as neat on the trailer as possible. I never used to when I first started out playing the game. I found bailing and stacking them onto a trailer an absolute chore. But now I kind of find it almost therapeutic. It's a bit weird. This, to me, I'm doing it and I'm, I'm thinking this is very easy. But in my mind I'm thinking I should be doing it manually, you know? So, uh, yeah, a bit of a, a, a dilemma. A dilemma. I think this only takes 24 in total. So I'll see you in a second. I need to weave among the trees around to the southern bit, and I'm going to head off that direction. See you in a minute. And that's it, 24 bales on. Now, what you can do, if I do L1 and then it says transporting position, I press that, they should now move, but you can still lift them and move them about, which is very strange. But I can, if I do... It still lets me... They're supposed to, in operating position, not be able to move anywhere. So I'm puzzled slightly by that. But if I do... Um, R1 there you go R1 lets you can reset left right up or down so that's now reset flat on the back if I press R3 now that's the problem isn't it transporting position yeah fast and tension belts then they're going across the deck but not over the actual bales I don't know why it's doing that anyway so these first 24, I'm going to get back over to the farm and I'm going to unload those in the yard and then come back, get the rest and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them next. Beacons on. I'm taking these past that entrance only because I don't know, I don't think they're going to fit under the archway between the buildings. So, let's swing it around here.
Now as far as unloading goes, I'm going to unload them over this side. I might squash a chicken or two, only because well, it's a bit of a slant, isn't it? I don't want to um I don't want to block any of the vehicles over there. So what should happen now is if I do that and unfasten the tension belts. Unload bales. Press triangle. Unload bales here. I assume it'll just take them right. So if I do I'm just now moving my right controller, L1, my right controller, and I can put them wherever I want. Now, interestingly, I don't know how high that goes. Not high enough to go up onto the hayloft. I was curious, I just wondered whether it, not that I'm going to, that would be ludicrous, but I did wonder if it was going to. Uh, so, unload bales here. Yes, please. They are done. They are unloaded and plonked. Now, is that good in the chicken? Where is it? Brilliant. I'm going to go back, get the last ones, and bring them back here. And then, I'm pretty sure you can guess what's going to come next. We'll try and get them into the hayloft. Ha ha ha! We shall see. Right, we're back. We're set up. I've got some more machinery. I've got the Lizard Slow Conveyor. This is uh, LS Mod Company and Slow Tide 63. That's now set up, pointing up towards the hayloft. I don't know if this is going to work. I hope it is. Um, I'm sure I saw this on um, Backseat Modding's website. I'm sure they put up a video doing this. I can't imagine I would have come up with this idea myself. Um, I've got the Kotec forks, they're black sheet modding forks. These are the ones I was talking about. Those have made stacking bale trailers just so much easier. And obviously I said earlier on, I bought the bale spike for the JCB. So, this needs to go upstairs. Which only time I've been up here so far was when I did the first look map tour. It's one of the things I loved about this was that kind of split level farmyards and having this here is just absolutely brilliant. Now, what I'm hoping is, and in theory this should work, I'm going to stick bales at the bottom, they're going to come up the conveyor belt, in theory, up the conveyor belt, drop off here, and then I can stack them. That's the plan. I think there's the lights up here. Sure there are. Might make life a bit easier. Oh look. A nugget. Maybe there aren't any. Oh hang on. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Now we can see. Don't just at home kids. That's why the hazard lights on. Right, now if I enter this like so uh, turn on belt like so I'm assuming I didn't get sides for it because I thought if any of the bells gone sideways hopefully they'll still work oh, only we can just see now see what happens so we're going to get very noisy right so and I'm going to kill a lot of chickens, that much I can tell. Now, do this one bale at a time. <laughs> it's going to take me a while with 38 bales. 
Well, 37 and 1 grass fail, but what can you do about that? It doesn't work, it doesn't work. It was worth a go, just to see. Doesn't really matter how neat I do this. I honestly don't know how this is going to work. But it's going, it's not. <laughs> if it falls off, it'll be my fault. Oh, I don't know what I'm done. It worked. I didn't do this. Uh, no, which control was it? Or was it um, down? Doing the legs, in theory. Make sure I don't go the right way. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now we'll get out. Okay, that's lifted that end up a little bit. Right, okay, let's grab another one. Doesn't matter too much if I make a mess of the stack down here, because they're all going up there anyway. I can make a mess of the stack at the top end instead. That's all good. Right, so let's try and get a bit further over this time. So hopefully it lands a bit flatter. Nope. Now, I'm assuming that will just stop. So if I load that up, as soon as I take one, the next one will go up, I, I think. All very exciting. That's better. That's more like it. Of course, the other way you could do it. Mm -hmm. That might be a little bit harder. Is, uh, let's see. Come on that way. Using the end of the conveyor to almost kind of pull it off like that. Ah, so nearly worked. Well, that'll work as well. So, let's jump up on there. It is such a pit you can't move bales by hand. You can move up the top here and just Hoiking them out of the way one at a time. Right, so. Now comes the next bit. Without dropping off the end and killing myself. So hopefully. Oh, that's interesting. So the next one comes up. There we go, right. Let's tap these up.
the only downside is because they're not coming off flat. Hmm. Not sure another way around that. Two thirty six to go. I wasn't getting on too well with the little triple fork that come in the JCB set. Um, these ones here, where are we? Yeah, that bail fork, I've, I've, yeah, not getting on too well with that. So, in the CS, CSZ, CSZ, whichever you want to call it, pack, um, there are a whole range of different ones. These ones are narrower for round bales. The bail forks with spikes are wider, give you a bit of better, kind of more flat platform, I think. And the good thing with these is, you can close them up so they're out of the way, open them, but you can also open that bit at the top so if you put two or three on there you've got a bit of support I'm only going to be moving one at a time so I'm going to stick with this give it a go and hopefully these now these are very deep so the difference with these is you have to be careful it only goes as far as the red markings on them otherwise you can go way too far on the bale now this bale needs to be tipped over so let's drop that off first but it's all going rather well just say it's working that's ah it's, just, it's all going really well whoops so uh what's going on Will do. We just want to mess that. Well, that's that. Got room. Excellent. Now I did put two up at a time on, on the uh, conveyor belt. I stacked two on the tally handler there and put two on. It came up as a two then fell over the top so you can probably get maybe two at a time. What I'm going to do now is carry on and I'm going to unload all of them, get them up here so next time you see me hopefully we should have all of these done. Maybe at the start of the next episode there might be a bit of a whoa, free floor might be a bit of a time lapse who knows so like i said i shall continue hopefully without dropping off the edge at any point get them all under cover and out of the way and hopefully at some point we'll have our hundred and then when the council want them they can come and get them <coughs> they can collect them use them for their maze and then uh, i'll have them back we're going to need them for the winter probably not this many but we are going to need bells for the winter. What you can do, tip that forward if you need to. Give me a bit of nudge forward with the arms. There we go. Perfect. And that is it from me for another episode. I got done what I wanted to. I wanted to get the bales done. It wasn't so much about the bailing or the loading of the bales. It was the unloading of the bales this end that was what I wanted to do. 
got the conveyor and doing it, it's working. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.